Hey everyone, it's Jenna back again with another YouTube video. Today I'm going to be talking all about how to use email with ADHD. Now, I don't know about you, but it seems like everyone has a completely full inbox where there's thousands and thousands of emails and people have just kind of given up on organizing them. So today we're going to be talking about how to not let it get to that point. And if you do have it, how to actually organize your folders, your inbox and set up some filters and just some really cool apps that help you kind of deal with the overwhelm of email. So make sure to subscribe for my channel for more videos and let's get started. So one of the first things you have to decide is first of all, how are you using email? Are you using it for work? Are you using it for your business? Are you using it for newsletters? What are you using your email for? So picking a platform to be, to have your email on, I use Gmail. I think it's a great platform for, it's free and it's something that I use. I also have the paid version for my business. And so I use Gmail and then you have to decide, you know, are you going to have multiple email inboxes or are you just going to have one? Now, some people use different emails, maybe one for spam or junk mail. Some people use one for their business. I have multiple email addresses for different reasons, but really just deciding how you're going to use it, especially if you're going to be using things like YouTube or Google Drive or Google Photos, how, which account do you want to use? So once you've decided on which email account, then you are going to set up folders. Now I've talked about this before in videos, but I'm a really big fan of August Bradley's pillar system. So I've actually organized my folders on my Gmail into 13 different categories based off of those pillars. So I'm showing them here and you can definitely see how I will set these up inside of Gmail. One of the coolest things about Gmail that I love is that you can actually color coordinate different folders. So a lot of people don't know this. I figured this out a couple years ago, but that's just something that we can also set up as we go through the Gmail. You can also add things like filters. So we can definitely talk about that as well. But there's two different apps that I want to talk about before we get to Gmail that are really going to help you deal with all of the craziness of your inbox. The first is called Unroll Me, and this is a great software that allows you to either keep, roll up, or unsubscribe from different uh, newsletters or anything that has the word unsubscribe at the bottom. So what I use this for is anytime I sign up for a newsletter or something, I will log into Unroll Me and then decide if I want to pick one of those three options. Keep allows it to stay directly in your inbox. Rollup gives you a daily email with all of those emails all rolled up into one and then unsubscribe. It actually doesn't unsubscribe you, but it removes it from being immediately in your inbox and puts it into an archived folder on Gmail. So it's actually a lot faster than having to go through and filter every single email. I just prefer it as an option. So Enroll Me is the first app that I highly recommend. It takes maybe about 10 to 15 minutes to go through. If you have quite a few subscriptions and decide which is which, it will actually search your inbox for everything and actually assign it. Some people don't like Enroll Me. Um, I know that there's some issues with it. I personally use it. I know people will comment below being like, Enroll Me sucks. But you know, I, I personally use it and I had, haven't had too many issues with it. So the second one that I wanna talk about is called Temp Mail. I think it's called Temp Mail. It's a Chrome extension. And this is if you really don't wanna sign up for an email with somebody, like say you have to get something and in order to do so, you have to add an email. Try not to do this to small businesses because sometimes we have to pay per email for email marketing. But if it's just like a huge company, it, it's fine, whatever, use temp mail. But basically what this does is it gives you an email address, I think for 24 hours, and it redirects back to your inbox so you still get the thing that you signed up for, but the email is kind of just one that disappears. And so you won't get any more emails from the person that you're signing up for. So that's actually really helpful if you really don't wanna sign up with an email of any kind, you can use the temp mail Google Chrome extension. Now there's a lot of different apps nowadays also that can help with email. I will list some of them below in my resources page. On You can sign up for that and, and get access to that. But that really just has a ton of different things around marketing and uh, organization with ADHD. So I will share some of my favorite other apps for email marketing or email in general. Um, if you are in business and want to do email marketing, I do that as well. So I definitely have some pointers on how to get more people signed up for your emails, you know, email list, all this stuff is kind of a completely different topic. 
So we are gonna head into my Gmail and show you guys just some of my tips for how to organize it and kind of get it under control. So let's head there. So welcome to my inbox. I tried to make it so that you didn't see anything that was uh, <laughs> private or anything. These are just some of my emails I haven't gone through yet. Um, so oh, something came right as we're coming in and you will see, watch, if I click the inbox again, that actually is gonna pop away because I have that in my unroll me. So literally as we are, you know, here, things come into my inbox and because of that, they pop out with the unroll me app. And I literally just got a notification on my phone as well. So what I wanna walk you through is kind of the system that I've set up for myself. Now, again, I use the 13 pillars from August Bradley and I use them over here on the left hand side. So let me just walk through one of them for you. Um, let me think which one would be good. Home and household might be a good one. So like, for example, I have AAA, which is my car, uh, apartment, bills, online shopping. If I click on online shopping, you'll see I have a bunch of different apps that have to do with online shopping. So I have folders within folders. And what's cool is I've set so that if I go to label color and click the pink, so if I change it here, if I change it to orange, you can either only label the top or I always click label home and household and its sub labels. So this is how you get all of the colors to be the same, um, no matter how many folders are embedded inside. So you'll see that the home and household I have for Amazon, 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 um, for other things like for apps, all of my different apps, <laughs> I've got literally so many different apps and then I even have like for example, productivity, I have different apps and then I have a section just for Notion. And some of these I haven't labeled yet with color. So what I'll do is I will click here and click label color yellow and then click label and it's so then all of them will actually become yellow. So I have all the different email newsletters I'm subscribed to. Um, so basically how you'll do this is for example, right here, I, this one doesn't have a label. So in order to label it, what you'll do is you'll click filter messages like these so it looks like I've never gotten an email from this before, but I'm gonna create filter and I'm gonna choose a label. So since I've never made a label before, I will have to create one. So I'll click new label and it'll be um, Minneapolis St. Paul Magazine, right? That's what the, the, the person is. So then you have to choose what you nest the label under. So now, since this is a local business, I'm gonna put this under friends and social and then under local businesses because that to me is like a, a networking. So if I scroll down to local, I would just do local. So I think, wait, no, that's not it. I would go under local. You can even go under local business and then I would click filter. So now, you don't see that the label has been added, but now in the future, if a new email comes, it will be labeled. I will also click here and type in here. So now it is labeled, but it does not have a color. So I'm gonna go back. So I believe it was under friends and social. I'm going to click label color, friends and social and sub labels, and now you'll see that it will turn pink. So. Basically, now I know just from looking at this what it is. It is a local, you know, magazine, whatever it is. For other things, like I have Mind Expansion, which is any type of books, anything um, that is available here. So that's a lot of my library, Amazon, that kind of stuff. But I also have things like the roll up. So these are all of the daily roll ups that I get from email subscriptions that I have that I wanted to keep. So it says 49 emails received. And then you can see, if you click view all, you will see all the different emails that I get that were rolled up into one. So that's really helpful if I don't wanna read all of them, I will literally go to that and see which ones are interesting. This has helped me organize, so I only have right now 50 emails that I need to go through. So some of these I already know what they are, like Amazon, Amazon, I will literally just go through. I don't like to delete emails just in case of, for any reason, so I will archive them. So that's immediate. So here's a new uh, email, it's actually an email software that I'm trying called Cron Calendar. So I'm gonna make a new label, it's called Cron. I'm gonna create a new label. Again, this is probably gonna go under, I'm trying to think of what this would go under. This would probably be under productivity. So I'm gonna put this under productivity, it's called Cron, and you'll see it will add that. I can also add a filter. So if I filter messages like this, I have now chosen that label under productivity called Cron. 
And so now that will filter. And then the last step obviously is to add the color. I, again, just do it from the, the base level and now it has that color. And then what I can do is archive it. So now if I go over to that folder under productivity, you will see that that email is still there, but it's just not in my inbox. I was reading a book and they talked about how it's important to archive. You could do this where you, you know, star things and then archive everything. So that way you only really care about the things that you're not deleting them, but you're just archiving them. So that's really how I use my Gmail. Filtering is so important for making sure that you are able to do that. I think organizing by all of the 13 pillars and by different colors too. So I've really actually chosen the colors and they're the same across multiple different emails. So I just wanted to show that to you guys. Hope this was helpful. Hope that this helps you organize your library of emails. With ADHD, it's a lot. It can get so overwhelming. But if you have time to just go through, I know you get a ton of emails. One of the easiest ways also, let's just type in like library. You could also find all of the different ones and quickly go through and archive them, right? So I could literally click archive. Now if I go back, I only have 40 emails. So really just think about, you know, what do you want to see in your inbox? What do you actually have to respond to? Do you star those? Do you click the, um, the button here, which is important? starred, however you want to do something and then be able to filter. I thought that this was such a great way and it's helped me keep my inbox in shape for the last about year, I guess, since I've been starting doing this. So I hope that this was helpful. Make sure to follow August Bradley too. He's got some amazing videos on email as well. I do it a little, little bit different than him, but you know, a lot of the stuff I've learned has been from him. He's an amazing teacher. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you next week.